right, hi, my name is Julia Grace. I run engineering at a company called Tindy. But this is a story that started four years ago. I witnessed one of the biggest fundamental changes to the computer science community had seen in decades, if not centuries. So I was a researcher at IBM Almaden Research Center. I wrote a lot of papers that included really complex mathematical proofs. But I worked down the hall from Ron Fagan, who's one of the most famous computer theorists in the entire world. I'd go to Ron's office, we'd walk through my proofs, we'd also talk about the 49ers. So now, Ron had this crazy chalkboard in his office. And on his chalkboard, he would have all these intense formulas. And this is where we talk about a lot of our proofs. Now, next to the chalkboard, he had all these checks and bills that said, does P equal NP? So what is P and what, equals, what is NP? So this is more than just a mathematical exercise. This will tell us the problems that computers can solve and the problems that they can't. So P is a very simple set of problems. What's 3 times 7? 21. Well, NP is the much harder set. Factorization of numbers. What are the factors of 42? Now, number factorization is the underlying key to cryptography. And if P is equals to NP, then modern cryptography will likely be broken, and the world as we know it would be a very, very different place. In fact, in 2002, a survey of 60 famous math and computer science professors, they asked, is P equal NP? 59 said that it did not, but the remaining said that it did only because they wanted to be contrarians. <laughs> um, now, P equal, the P equals MP problem first got hit into mainstream pop culture in 1995 when it was, there was an episode of The Simpsons where Homer Simpson wanted to escape his in-laws, so he went through a rabbit hole in a bookshelf and he found this alternate world where P equals MP. Now, this is more than just math. There's cold hard cash on the line, a million dollars if you prove the P does not equal NP. Now, this problem has been around for a really long time. So if you're a mathematician or you're a computer scientist like myself, some of these problems take decades, if not centuries, to solve. So this is apparently what people did in 1971 when the problem first came out. Now, there's many other famous computer science problems that take centuries to solve. So... Now all, of this <laughs> now, all this changed on August 6, 2010. A scientist from HP Labs came out with a 100-page proof that P did not equal NP. He sent it to all the scientists who work on this program, problem, and he also did something that nobody had ever done before. He posted it online. Now, uh, this proof got pr picked up by aggregators like Slashdot and Hacker News, and soon nerds everywhere were sure that P did not equal MP, that the problem had been solved, that this man had won a million dollars. So I wanted to know what Ron thought, because he was one of the key pillars in this community. So I, so I was pacing outside his door, and I finally knock on it, and he's eating a sandwich. And I'm like, Ron, how could you eat a sandwich at a time like this, not this sandwich, <laughs> a very similar sandwich. And I'm like, Ron, what's the deal? Does P equal MP? Is the proof correct? And he's like, things like this take time. But how do you know about all of this? So you see, this had never permeated outside of the circles of theorists that had worked on this problem before. Um, and then something happened that was even crazier. TechCrunch published Real News, and they talked about <laughs> P. <laughs> they, they picked up on P equals MP. <laughs> and suddenly, you know, the, the media attention gets more intense and more intense. And so did he prove it? So the answer is... Maybe, but probably not. So it is widely accepted that, that the proof did not hold, but he still maintains that he proved P equals MP. Now, even more media attention comes. John Markov from the New York Times writes about this. And all of the, the researchers in this community that work on this, they start issuing public statements. And, and one of the statements was like, we know this problem is really hard and interesting, but we didn't think that anybody really cared about it <laughs> until now. And so I leave you with this. What's the important part about this story is not that this proof came out or that someone tried to solve P equals MP, because apparently, according to Ron, this happens every week he gets another proof. But the key thing is that now these discussions are happening outside in the community, that you and I can be involved in these types of things, even though we're not experts. And perhaps the next P does not equal MP millionaire is sitting in this room tonight. Thank you.